Hey, 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 everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And we know that I set myself this strange challenge today to look at all nine videos that our friend, our buddy, Sarasota Tim, has released. And he is just a content diva today. So anyway, <laughs> he's obviously trying to pop up that uh, YouTube money. <laughs> he must have looked at what his earnings were and thought, huh, the golf not cutting it. Anyway, let me just throw out my disclaimers real quick so we can get this video started because I've got more to go. Put out nine videos today. Nine. I'm waiting for number 10 because I know it's going to show up at some point. But anyway, uh, I just want to make sure that this is fair use, okay? I'm going to make transformative content from Tim's, Tim's twaddle. And always, this is just my opinion. This is my commentary. I am studying to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. I still have probably over a year of school left to go. And uh, I'm not treating or diagnosing Tim at all. I am also a registered nurse with over 10 years of experience here in the United States. And uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Okay, we did that. Oh, so we get to see his... Green Springs, Utah, the prettiest houses you've ever seen in your life. So Minimalist Tim is ensuring that he gets himself, um, uh, he's like house hunting hard, okay? <laughs> the house hunting is hard. All right, let me make me small. Let me make sure I speed him up to 1.25 because we want to make sure, oh, he's good. We've got him set. All right, I'm just going to let Tim take it away. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Sarasota Tim coming to you from Maverick Gas Station in Green Springs, Utah, just before St. George. I know a lot of you probably know. Where Why are we always coming from gas stations and Walmart? N n and McDonald's. And McDonald's. <sighs> we got one of those coming up and Walmart, of course. It's it's all the hits today. Keep going, Tim. Where I'm at. Me out. I just got off. I thought I'd get some gas and I decided I'll wait. But I looked at the maps and I saw this fine looking home up here on the hill. <laughs> and I started looking at my maps and there's all kinds of residential over here. I thought we'd just take a drive and <laughs> see what, what what's here in Green Springs. So right off the 15 mm, freeway, okay. uh, heading south. Turn right onto South Green Spring Drive, North Green Spring Drive. You already put uh, directions in. Actually, take me. Yeah, that's some quality content right there. We get to listen to his Google Maps telling us how to get to this housing estate he's going to go and scope out. He saw those big old houses over there. This is a person whose channel started, really got its kind of big boost of viewers and subscribers and audience by telling everybody he is a minimalist and they could, you know, he was giving hope to people who maybe didn't potentially have all their ducks in a row to go into retirement. And now he is, sorry, I'm going to try to look at the camera. Uh, now he is uh, off house hunting. He originally was in a wolf pup type camper on a piece of his friend's land. And he was just talking up the minimalist life, how you didn't really need to have much. And like I said, for those who may not have had everything sorted out for retirement, giving them hope that maybe they too could 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 retire with some dignity and with enjoyment. But we're all finding out this was a lot of a lot of twaddle. In that house up on the hill there, I just thought I'd get up here and get a little view and and see what it is. Well, they're coming in hot. I can't get out. You can't get there from here. Here we go. Don't hit me. I got a bad back. There's some niggas on the hill. Turn left onto West Cove Drive. I got to turn left. Oh, I'm sure you would love for them to hit you because you'd probably be the type of person who would definitely be hooking up with a personal injury attorney real quick. Well, you better not talk about your back too much because we've got evidence that obviously your back was already hurting. That's not going to help your case, Tim. All right, it's her climbing the hill, I guess. Ooh, look at this. I mean, everything's brand new here. Do I turn left here? Wow, look at these houses. Let's just go in here first. Mm. Look, oh, it's a it's a private. There's a gate. Is that loud in there, Baker? <laughs> you can't come in here. 
Oh my, those are beautiful. Mm. There's a golf course right up here too. Let me put you And there's a reason why that's gated because they don't want people like you just scoping out the neighborhood, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Tim trying to Tim wants to be in a gated community. He's got real airs about him. Ever since he became a famous YouTuber, he now thinks he needs this palatial palace to live in in order to hang his hundred case sub plaque up there. Jonah, there you go. Yeah, there's the golf course. Turn right. left onto West Cove Drive. Oh right here. Oh my gosh. Is this West Cove Drive? Home? Yeah. I, I'll turn that off in a minute once I know I'm going to. He, oh, boy. There's some big ones up here, folks. Oh, my goodness. Ooh, look, we're about ready to go through here. Okay. So he's filming on his phone. He's got the Google Maps going. And he's, you know, how much attention are you paying to the other drivers around you? Oh, and of course, you know, I always say he wants to find a house along a golf course. This is This is Tim's dream here. I would use a word beginning with W before that, but I'm trying to be polite and professional. For half a mile. Oh, there's a golf cart. Uh -oh. right, let me just turn. Oh, my Lord. Look at that one up there. Mm -mm. Look at this. What is that? It's a house, Tim. That's a house. Who lives there? I wonder if he's Not got a, you. a cup of sugar or a cup of coffee I can borrow. Mm. <laughs> I think you're still building on that one. Wow. Let's get up there and take a look. Let me turn this GPS off. All right. So, I, Oh, my gosh. I guess all the nice neighborhoods in Florida must be gated because Tim acts like he's never seen a nice big house before. And he's come from Florida. I mean, Miami has some of the most expensive properties in the United States outside of California and New York City, probably. And uh, Martha's Vineyard. Oh, my gosh. This is Beverly Hills, baby. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. Let me put you on the selfie stick. This is... You can't just look right out the uh, mm. at the window. Tammy's 470 is not going to pay for action. that. Where is my selfie stick? Oh, here's one. No. Why are you driving and looking oh for stuff? God. No. You, Jesus, what are you doing? <laughs> Why can you not just... I, I don't want to say anything about potentially having him with ADHD as an adult <laughs> because the way he's doing this I, I i just thinking about other vehicles on the road you know and tim doesn't care ah come on <laughs> this thing is oh my lord okay hang on <laughs> all right here we go <gasps> Wire very off. nice homes, but that, that grass is not native. I don't get to the top of the hill. Utah, I'm thinking. I, I think I'm supposed to turn there. I don't think you can grassy lawns look at like the that. that. My place. goodness, that's a lot of water to be used in a desert. That's not something I'm a fan of. People pick places. Um, I I think if you're going to like these folks have, if you're going to live in a desert, have desert landscaping. I find it very in my personal opinion, wasteful to use resources like water to water a lawn. You know, I don't know how much well water they have there. I don't see any well water signs like in Virginia. <laughs> Can you just keep going and get to it? Oh, that one's for sale, keep Tim. Places anywhere in the country that's nice. And those are the houses I was looking at overlooking uh, Mavericks gas station down there. Look, these little four or five houses. They're like, you can't come in here. It's a private We'd be private. Yes. Oh, absolutely. same with this. Oh, well, absolutely. They're not going to let me in there. The gates are open, though. Maybe for the construction. <laughs> Warning. No soliciting. Okay, well, I didn't say no trespassing. Mm. So mm. if you're on the lower tier, you live in... That means you couldn't have pawned off one of your oil change coupon books back in the day, Tim. They wouldn't have wanted you soliciting. We always find it uh, interesting to see the soliciting signs because that means prostitution in the UK. <laughs> These junks. But if you got a horsepower that can climb this mountain, <laughs> in the back home, you build building something over here. Mm. There's your view. Look at these cribs. There's some tennis courts. Mm. Folks, what a life. 
they were hard for in. it probably tim yeah, it's big old. you know what they probably had those like prison jobs for a while in order to to to, to gain this type of wealth in order to own these types of homes often it's not really from inherited wealth that's very few people who get that type of inherited wealth these are people who probably were in the tech industry or uh, or certain industries that paid extremely well financial industry certain parts of being in the financial industry and there's lots of professions that people can make very good incomes from far better than i make even in healthcare. <laughs> well, hill we're climbing with the time from. back the blue that's what he's got written on his on his fence so the guy with the big house we like him already that's his big place mm. The oh my goodness is enormous look at this up here there's two just the jealousy i mean the coveting it's just he's he's <laughs> for somebody who said he was happy in an rv and happy in his little wolf pup and he had a rav4 at the time when i first saw him he is just spending miss tammy's inheritance from the deceased husband that was a friend of his and who he did not probably reveal that he was shagging his wife. Too much to see. I can't That's even video quick enough. Term. Look at they're just gorgeous. I told you guys I'm, I'm hooked on uh, looking at these houses, like looking at sports cars. They just make them so beautiful. A, that's what they're building in Florida. They're all square, they're like office buildings. These have more architectural uh, style. Well, there's hurricanes that go through Florida, Tim. So they're probably trying to make them so they don't blow down easily. <laughs> Here's an RV garage. <laughs> Watch out, ladies. Tim's He's got a first. mirror Look garage on. door for his RV. He's got all kinds of garages. Well, you want to get a prize? I just always want to remind people that Tim worked real hard throughout his life. He used to sell oil change coupon books, as I said, and uh, he worked maybe two to three hours a day, you know, a couple of days a week because he didn't want to make enough money that he would actually be responsible for paying child support. And I understand he might be uh, owing child support still in California to this day. So... He's not worked his way to get this stuff. He thinks, I believe, his YouTube channel will be the way he gets here. Because obviously, there are channels that are huge. And they make really good money. But I can promise you, for the number of channels there are on YouTube, uh, it's very few that reach those types of pinnacles, okay? It's very few. And uh, that's what he's, I think he keeps trying to hope his channel will, will get to that type of level. He thinks he's a famous YouTuber, not an infamous one. I saw something here. These are estates. Uh, we are on uh, Westgate Hill Drive. And Westgate Hill Drive, there's nine. <laughs> Interesting address. Look at this. Look at this road with all these estates up here on the top of Plateau. I love how they have the windows on these garage doors. That one doesn't, but the one back there had windows in it. Beautiful, beautiful. Good climate for allergies. Just think what it would cost to furnish one. Yeah, putting some uh, air and rent stuff in there. <laughs> Aaron's well, rent. Well, looks like we're getting to the tippy top. Aaron's rent. Tim, these people don't even know what Aaron's rent is unless they own the company. Up up here. Ooh, doggy. They got them some views. Is this his own? Is this his driveway? His road? Look at this lot right here. It's a bill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at the view just, we're about ready to have. He doesn't care. This is the peak. Mm, There's the peak house. Choping out people's neighborhoods. Can I zoomed out for you enough? You got to back up a quarter mile to get all the houses. You know, you creep people out when you scope around their neighborhoods, you know. I have people put in my comment section how it spooks them out and they find it kind of creepy. 
So keep creeping people out, Tim. Keep creeping people out. I just keep trying to highlight this. <laughs> Maybe one day he'll be get the law caught up with him. In the view. Good Lord. <laughs> I need to get some of these. There's the golf course they look at. There's the view. I got to get out. This is too pretty not to uh, show you guys. Mm. Let me put it in here. I don't have a four-wheel drive. I don't think you can get enough buy me a coffee donations, Tim, in order to purchase this properties over here. <laughs> but I guess he's trying to become a prosperity preacher now. He's got like Joel Osteen money on his mind. <laughs> Wow, let's get out. Let's get out and take uh, a look. Pant the seeds, hey. Beautiful. <laughs> Don't forget to put it in park, Baker. Oh, man, no, oh man. Actually... Where are my glasses? Mm -hmm. Come on now. Don't be cheap on me. There they are. Oh. Can't see. Oh. oh, the sunglasses that one of his subscribers sent him or gave him or bought for him or something. Because Tim, everything that Tim has, like probably wearing clothes and... Uh, well, actually, let's talk about everything. So the truck was paid with a potentially fraudulently gained, uh, allegedly, EIDL loan. Well, he talked about how he got the EIDL loan. So, But I'm just trying to use language to keep me from getting in the type of legal trouble. But he talked openly about having his $58,000, as we know, EIDL loan. And with that money, which he was supposed to use to help with his... I guess, oil change coupon business, though he had been unemployed for a couple of years before that um, and, you know, made sure he became unemployed um, to get that unemployment money during COVID. He got this EIDL loan of which he purchased uh, depreciating assets like this truck and the RV. And uh, it's just so bad. And now his his sunglasses are bought by his subscribers. The golf clubs were given to him by the subscribers. The clothes were probably from buy me a coffee money. Everything that's sitting in the back, the, the cowboy hats have disappeared. because, And he had to have three of those. I mean, he has no idea how to manage money at all. So you would never get to this type of wealth because these people probably knew how to manage their money and had great financial planners. I mean, I don't have this type of wealth either. I'm a poor graduate student <laughs> who has been, um, you know, grifting for my own graduate books, I guess. You know, but obviously it's a little bit of a play on Tim. If you wanted to donate me a coffee, there's a little QR code that you can take a look at and actually donate to me. So there you go. So, yeah, if you want to help me uh, help people with their mental health, instead of helping Tim line his pockets, then I appreciate it. Because grad school expensive. We're back. <laughs> oh, oh, we're back. And I can't oh, work. Oh, am I in his way? Rest. Is he coming here? Is he, is he, am I going to be in his way? I think so. I promise you, I tried working full time as an RN doing 40 plus hours a week and trying to be in grad school to become a nurse practitioner. And it almost killed me. <laughs> <laughs> literally <laughs> burnt me out really bad. So I have now had to reduce um, down to part-time work, which I'm getting ready to hopefully head back to soon because I have not been well um, with stuff and on antibiotics for a really extended time. I'm not trying to give a sad trauma Tim story, but I'm just saying, <laughs> why am I such a poor grad student when I have a career like being a registered nurse? <laughs> Oh, oh my God. I'm in the man's way. Tim, your back doesn't, it can't be hurting that bad. You're in and out the truck. You're riding around all day. As I said in my previous video, if you were really in some abject pain, you would not be wanting to roll around like this. I mean, pain is subjective. I always have to say that, but you don't seem to be as in much pain as one of my patients who was at end stage with cancer, They're trying to struggle with that pain. <laughs> Big old front end loader.
<laughs> Grab him some dirt. Pull right here. No, Put great. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, right in front of the uh, porta potty. <laughs> the view of the porta potty. Oh, oh, dance. Oh, my bad. Okay. Why don't you go use that, that money that was sent to you to go get those lidocaine patches? <laughs> Woo! Amazing, huh? And I can promise you, a store-bought lidocaine patch is probably not the same as getting a 5% lidocaine through a pharmacy, like when you get a prescription. I don't think they have the same amount of lidocaine. And just to give you a heads up, Tim, you're not supposed to keep them on all day. Well, I, I can watch him all day. Versus he, I, I love watching heavy equipment. Let's okay, just see what this guy's built back here in his backyard, this schmancy one. Staring at people's property is so rude. Just, I mean, really, this is somebody's lawn. Out of their property, Let's please. Get up here. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey. If, if your back is so bad, why are you walking on this uneven surface? I mean, are you trying to pull something further in your back? <laughs> Like I said, it can't be hurting that hard. Here you go, folks. Live a little. Who are these guys working down here on this? Hmm. I know they've got those prison jobs that are required to build the house that you think your you just your royal derriere should go sit yourself into. Tim doesn't think he's at this level. Tim thinks he's at the level of the house. Of the big houses. The, Tim Tim is not this. He's not the gentleman, you know, grafting, working, you know, actually earning a living. No, Tim just thinks that he deserves to be sat here in this house with a with a tennis court because it's Timmy. Tim, keep your pants on. You sound like you're about to rub one out, sweetheart. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> oh, that was not professional. I apologize. <laughs> Now, whoever this is, there's a big lot down there. They just move the dirt around and make them a, a view spot. Look, that's pretty cool. That's really cool how he does that. Look at this house. Right. Oh, gorgeous, this, huh? Just, just this camera, right? Little things to walk around. Looks like you're casing. View on. Tim, there's going to be police officers thinking you're casing these properties out. You need to stop the, stop the madness at this time. I mean, this is so inappropriate. Get on the people's yards like that. I mean, goodness me. I wish the people who owned this place would come out and tell you to get off their lawn. But, you know, they're probably working in that prison job that afforded that place. There's the I-15 hmm. over this way. Oh. <laughs> He's so out of control. What's he doing with these chains? Now, why don't you ask him? Why don't you interfere with his work? You go over here a little bit more. Oh, gosh. Really? Really? Yeah, down here's on break. Hey, break's over, buddy. <laughs> don't you Look at how they've got that built where that doesn't collapse down. Look at this house right here with the roof on it. <laughs> this is what they do. Look at the swimming pool on this one. Folks, you don't have to Google. You already know. Multi- Multi is what we're looking at here. <laughs> Watch this guy. I know he's not the main attraction, but I love watching. Uh, well, he puts those chains there. For some reason, to push that dirt. I'm being scared to get close to the edge here. Look at me. I'm living on the edge, too. Yeah, with your back supposedly pulled. So they're going to build up. It can't be hurting that much. Something. <laughs> a house? Crazy. <laughs> you have a nice uh, golfing uh, platform out here. Oh, it's so rude. I just cannot believe how rude he is. The poor folks down. Well, this is uh, Green Springs. It's a beautiful day. Uh, the weather is not hot at all. And uh, that's the I-15 way down there, going down to St. George. 
as looking back towards Hurricane and Cedar City. And there's all kinds of houses. I'll zoom in for you. You can see the roofs that are uh, subdivision type homes way, way out there. Um, and then the big boys are up here in this exclusive uh, piece of the mountain that some developer came in here and just started carving out, leveling off little, little areas to put homes on and putting in beautiful roads. And this is just how the other half lives, folks. That's just the way it goes. Look, this doesn't look like his back hurts that much. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh performative. Wow. It just well, let's get on over to the uh, Walmart and get that Lanacade patches for my back. I just haven't gotten there yet, but I, I was glad I stopped here. This was just so beautiful. Mm. You know, I, it's not, it's you know, not anything that me or maybe a lot of you will ever. He's got his little YouTube um decal on his truck <laughs> he's just so funny about that he really thinks he's and we'll hear him when he talks about that okay keep going ever go even inside one oh my back but i can tell you this you just got you just got some kind of a view from yours truly there's the front side of that biggin I could have gone down the other way, but there's nowhere to turn around. These are just little guys, see? They reserve those top spots up there for huge houses. All right, let me uh, put this one up for you guys and put my seatbelt on and continue to go on over towards St. George and keep crushing it. Oh, let's not. I'm going to stop sharing that. Oh, my gosh, Tim. That is so so wild you're just like in somebody's property oh my goodness guys do you think that tim was oh my goodness this i'm just gonna have to throw this one out flim flam now in a trick or deception especially a swindle or confidence game involving skillful persuasion or clever manipulation of the victim a piece of nonsense twaddle bosh yeah Twaddle, Bosch, you know what it is, Tim. You know what it is, sweetheart. Anyway, if you did like this type of content, uh, the channel is growing. Please hit the subscribes. I really appreciate it. We're trying to get to half a billion subscribers on this channel. I really, really do appreciate it. All right, guys, I've got more videos to react to. Uh, and uh, I can't wait to see what he's up to. All right, catch you on the next one. Bye.